调查。日本外务次官致电美国驻日大使抗议，要求美方协助调查，整肃纲纪，防止呢一类事件再次。Hi there, this is Billy. Last time I created a frequency detector using the free DQ MOSFET. It uses no battery, still produces crystal sounds and loud output. This time I tried to revert back to the beginning and started a circuit using the conventional Foster Sealy detector. Uh, which is the original FM frequency detector. I've put in my values for this circuit. I chose the diode that I use for FM detection, which is 1SS66 or 1SS106. So how this Foster Shealy circuit work, uh, you can go to the Wikipedia to check it out. But basically, the Foster Sealy circuit operate using a phase difference between signals. To obtain the different phase that signal, a connection is made to the primary side of the transformer or our L1C1 circuit. Using a capacitor, we use 50 PF, and this is taken to the center tap of the second tank, the second uh, resonant circuit created by L2C2. So this gives a signal that is 90 degree out of phase from that of the L1. Let's look at the circuits connected to L2C2. When an unmodulated carrier is applied at the center frequency, both the diodes D1 and D2 conducts and produce equal and opposite voltages across the respective low resistors, which is the 47K. These voltages cancel one another out at the input uh, at the output, so no voltage is present, so you hear nothing on the headphone. And as the carrier frequency moves to one side of the center frequency of the station, the balance condition is destroyed. One of the diodes conducts more than the other, and this results in the voltage across one of the resistors being larger than the other and a resulting voltage at the output corresponding to the modulated frequency of the incoming signal. There is a chuck, RF chuck, 30 mu H, is required to insert in a circuit to filter out all the radio frequency signals. So we have only the uh, audio frequency signals. The capacitor 2000 PF, they provide a similar filtering function. So only allows audio frequency to pass through. I've reused the case of my original FM frequency detector using 3DQ. I just took out the 3DQ circuit board, insert a new circuit board that I made for the diode uh, Foster Shealy detector. So this is how it looks. I find that I need to get the two coil much closer together than the free DQ version. So it is now half the diameter of the coil. So it's as, as close as that. So half the size of the AA battery. Otherwise, uh, it seems the induction doesn't work well. No signal is inducted, uh, induced over to the second coil. So you may want to try different combination closer or further away to see whether it works for you. Some people said if you align them in the same strict line, it will be even better. But I haven't tried that yet. It's the headphone jack and next to that is a four point socket that I can use to plug in and try out different type of diodes. At the back, we got the two capacitor the 247K resistor and the choke, and at the side we have the 50PF capacitor. I've tested this radio, and the output is a bit low, much lower than the 3DQ version. However, we still hear very crystal clear FM station, much clearer than just using the slope detection. 
And also this one is even harder to tune than the 3D key version because the output is so low, you have to hear that click sound when you hit the station and then keep tuning the other variable capacitor. And back and forth tuning both capacitors until you hear the crystal clear sound. So here is the testing. And don't forget to click subscribe and send the link of this video to your friends so they can subscribe too. Thank you. You probably want to turn up your volume at this point because uh, the output is quite low. Yapon 新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報新聞港報
咁我問一句，即係其實呢個係我同到時呢個神博士一齊做嘅咧，我哋就睇到有八個嘅觀察嘅。咁第一咧就我哋睇到其實我哋欠缺一個比較周長嘅規劃喺外國，因為我哋特別。同新加坡啊，同埋社會啊，同美國、英國嗰種誒比對咧，其實佢哋好多時講品格教育咧，係加埋同方貴軒。